Hi guys, I'm Roy P. Karangian. So in this video, I will be reviewing you in factoring polynomials. This includes difference of two squares, perfect square trinomials or PST, quadratic trinomials, and sum or difference of two cubes. Factoring is the reverse process of multiplication. When a number or a polynomial is factored, it is rewritten as a product of two or more factors. Factoring is the technique used in solving quadratic equation, simplifying rational expressions, and graphing quadratic functions. A polynomial is said to be factored into prime factors if it is expressed as a product of two or more irreducible polynomials of the same type. First, Factors of difference of two squares. Factoring the difference of two squares is a special type of factoring, a problem that is often used in mathematics. The factors of the difference of two squares are the product of the sum and difference of two numbers. Steps in factoring the difference of two squares. First, get the principal square root of each of the two squares. Second, using these square roots, form two factors sum and the difference. Sample number 1. Factor x squared minus 25. First, get the square root of each term. First term, square root of x squared is equal to x. Second term, square root of 25 is equal to 5. Okay, step number 2. Using x and 5 form the sum and difference of term. Thus, x squared minus 25 is equal to the product of x plus 5 and x minus 5. Let's move now to sample number 2. Factor 16x squared minus 25y squared. The respective square root of 16x squared and 25y squared are square root of 16x squared is equal to 4x and square root of 25y squared is equal to 5y. Hence, the factors of 16x squared minus 25y squared are 4x plus 5y and 4x minus 5y. Third, factor 18a cubed minus 72ab squared completely. Neither the first or the second term is a square, but a common monomial factor exists. First, factor out the common monomial factor. Okay, the common monomial factor between the two terms is 18a. Okay, then divide to both terms. Therefore, the, the factor are 18a and a square minus 4b squared. Take note that the second term in the factor is the factor of difference of 2 squared. When you factor the second term, you're going to use the sum of difference of 2 squared. Therefore, the final factors of 18a cubed minus 72ab squared are 18a times the product of a plus 2b and a minus 2b. You have to remember that a polynomial is completely factored only if all its polynomial factors are prime. Second, factors of the perfect square trinomial. Factoring perfect square trinomial result is the square of the binomial. The first term is the square root of the first term of the trinomial, and the second term is the square root of the third term. It is important, however, to check if it is the given trinomial is really a PST or perfect square trinomial. In symbol, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to the square of x plus y and x squared minus 2xy plus y square is equal to the square root x minus y. Determine whether each trinomial is a PST or perfect square trinomial. Letter A. y square plus 8y 
as 16. Okay, to tell if y square plus 8y plus 16 is perfect square trinomial, examine each term. Is the first term a perfect square? Okay, square root of y square is y. So it is a perfect square. Last term, square root of 16 is 4. So first term and the last term are per per perfect square. Is the middle term twice the product of the square root of y square and 16? So the, the square root of y square is y and the square root of 16 is 4. So 2 times y times 4 is equal to 8y and it is yes. Therefore, y square plus 8y plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial. Let's have letter B. 4y square is a perfect square. The square root of 4y square is 2x, and yes, it is a perfect square. 9y square is a perfect square. The square root of 9y square is 3x. Twice the product of 2y uh, or 2x and 3y is 2 times 2x times 3y is equal to 12x squared. But the middle term of the given trinomial is negative 6xy. Thus, 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared is not a perfect square trinomial. Factoring perfect square trinomial. These are the steps. First, get the square root of the first term and the last terms. Second, use the sign of the middle term between the, these roots. And the third, square the binomial obtained in step 2. Sample number 1. Factor x square plus 14x plus 49. Okay, check if the given trinomial is PST. Since the middle term is 14x, is twice the product of the square root of the first, which is x, and the third term, which is y, uh, 7, and the second and the first and the last term are perfect square, then the trinomial is PST. Hence, x square plus 14x plus 49 is equal to square of x plus 7. Sample number 2. Factor x square plus 18x plus 81. Okay, first step, get the square root of the first and last term. Square root of x square is x and square root of 81 is 9. And then you're going to use the sign of the middle term which is positive and then let's take a look at the middle term if that is the product is twice the product of the square root okay so 2 times x times 9 is 18x therefore x square plus 18x plus 81 is equal to the square of x plus 9 sample number 3 49x squared minus 56xy plus 16y squared. Check if the first and the last term are perfect square. 49x squared square root is 7x. Last term, 16y squared square root is 4y. And then the middle term, twice. So 2 times 7x is 14x and then 4y times 7x is equal to 56x squared so therefore 49x squared minus 56xy plus 16y squared is equal to the square root a uh, square of 7x minus 4y okay third factors of quadratic trinomial a quadratic trinomial is the second degree polynomial with three terms. This is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are non-integral coefficient. But today, we're going to focus on the quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1. Okay? Examples of quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1 are x squared plus 6x plus 8 
x square minus 7x minus 18 and x square plus x minus 6. Note that x square plus 6x plus 8 is the product of x plus 4 and x plus 2. Since the multiplication is the reverse process of factoring, the factors of x square plus 6x plus 8 are x plus 4 and x plus 2. That's it. x square plus 6x plus 8 is equal to the product of x plus 4 and x plus 2. The factor form is the product of binomials of the form x plus the first factor and x plus the second factor. The second terms of each of these binomial factors are factors of the third of the trinomial and at the same time addends of the numerical coefficient of the middle term. The procedure in factoring quadratic trinomial with a is equal to 1 is summarized as follows. First, find the two factors of c whose sum equal to the coefficient b. And second, using the form x plus the first factor and x plus the second factor, fill this in with the two factors found in step number one. Let's have an example. Factor the following trinomial, letter A, x squared minus 3x minus 18. In x squared minus 3x minus 18, c is equal to negative 18 and b is equal to negative 3. Take note of two things. We have to find the factors and the sum of the factors. So let's have the factors of negative 18. First factor is 1 and negative 18. The sum is negative 17. Take note that our letter B is negative 3. So we're going to find the factor and the sum which is negative 3. Second, 2 and negative 9. The sum is negative 7. Third, 3 and negative 6. And the sum is negative 3. Okay, that's it. The factors that give us the sum of negative 3 are 3 and negative 6. Thus, x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to the product of x plus 3 and x minus 6. Sample letter B. x squared plus 5x minus 6. Okay. In here, our letter C is equal to negative 6 and our B is 5. Factors of negative 6 are 1 and negative 6, 2 and negative 3, 3 and negative 2, and 6 and negative 1. Take note that our B is 5. So let's get the sum of those factors. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5. That's it. Therefore, the factors that give us the sum of 5 are 6 and negative 1. Therefore, x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to the product of x plus 6 and x minus 1. And the last part, factors of sum or difference of two cubes. Here are the steps in factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. First, get the cube root of each cube. Second, taking the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube roots in step number one. And the last one, form the second trinomial factor as follows. Square the first cube root, multiply the two cube roots, and square the second cube root. In symbol, x cube plus y cube is equal to the product of x plus y and x square minus x y plus y square and 
x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the product of x minus y and x squared plus y, xy plus y. Sample number one, factor x cubed plus 8. Step one, get the cube root of each cube. Cube root of x cubed is x and cube root of 8 is 2. Step number 2. Taking the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube root. Step 1. Since the operation between the two terms is addition, we're going to use addition as the operation. Therefore, the first factor is x plus 2. Step 3. Form the second trinomial factor as follows. Step 1. Square the first cube root. Our first cube root is x. Square of x is x square. Multiply the two cube roots. Okay. In the formula, the next sign is negative. So, x times 2 is negative 2x. And the last one, square the second cube root. Square of 2 is 4. Therefore, the factors of x cubed plus 8 are x plus 2 and x squared minus 2x plus 4. Sample number 2. Factor 8y cubed minus 27. First step, get the cube root of each cube. Cube root of 8y cubed is 2y and cube root of 27 is 3. Step number 2. Taking the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube roots. Step 1. Okay. So, the operation between them is subtraction. So, we're going to take subtraction to the two roots, which is 2y and 3. The, for the first factor, is 2y minus 3. Step 3. Form a binomial theory, uh, trinomial factor as follow. First step, square the first cube root. So, square of 2y is 4y square. Then, multiply the two, cu the two cube roots. So, 2y times 3 is 6y. And, square the second cube root square of 3 is 9. Therefore, the factors of 8y cubed minus 27 are 2y minus 3 and 4y square plus 6y plus 9.